Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. We are going to be reviewing McCall's new fall patterns today. Um, just released, this is their early fall collection. Um, and after seeing Butterick's early fall and Simplicity's early fall, I'm eager to see what we've got going on here. So here we are, early fall. As always, we're going to skip over girls' clothes, doll clothes, cosplay, and things for guys and just cover women's wear. Okay, we've got Melissa Watson's new um, pattern. She is obviously the daughter of Patty Palmer, who helped develop the Palmer plush fitting method, which uses tissue fitting. So all of her patterns are known for fitting exceptionally well and for allowing you to make the right alterations to get it to fit you really well. Um, ironically though, this is an oversized unisex jacket. So I'm not 100% sure how much fit comes into play, but she will have some of my favorite features like back darts and these fun little fisheye darts here that go into the pocket a two-part sleeve. You know what I mean? Like she does have really nice tailoring details because they're all about fit over there at Palmer Plush. So here she is in her jacket and then here's her boyfriend in his jacket and they can both wear, swap each other's jackets and wear each other's, which is so fun. So let's see more of her. This is actually really cute and I love how they played it up with the skinny jean and like the um, flat Oxford here, and just a basic tee. Very chic, very cool. I mean, look at the way this fits her. Looks great, right? You can have that too. This could be a really fun jacket to have in your wardrobe. It's not really a trench. It's not really a blazer. It's kind of like somewhere in between. So super cute. Great work, Melissa. Now we've got, oops, I missed one. We've got a little dress ooh, with custom cup sizes. This is always my favorite, not necessarily because I need it, but because I see so many of you who need it. So I always recommend if you have a fuller bust or a teeny, teeny, tiny bust, that you um, try out the custom cups because you will get a great fit throughout the bodice every single time without having to do any alterations. It's great. Um, okay, so we've got like a little mini ruffly cape looking thing with, I guess it's a sleeveless underneath. And then this one has a sleeve with a little ruffle. Oh, you know, I love this flounce. And then like a mock wrap. Is this one wrapped too? Yeah. A little mock wrap because the belt is separate so it's not a true wrap. Some great shaping here, some great darts in the back, and then you've got that whole ruffle detail going on there. Here it is without the ruffle detail. Oh, and a notched collar. That's kind of cool. I dig that in the little sleeve detail. Um, you guys can follow the woman who designs the like branded McCall's patterns, Jackie Polakoff. She's on Instagram and it's always posting behind the scenes stuff. Um, I've met her in person. She's really sweet. She's a mother of young children. Um, and I really just tend to dig her style usually. I don't know about this thing and the ruffle though. That's like a lot. Here are the, um, I get they're like line drawings, but because they've used like, they actually take fabric swatches, scale them down and then apply them to the um, drawing. So you can see like to scale what it would look like in a print, which I love. This one's really cute. I love this detail. It's completely unfinished here though, which is fine. You could just surge it, but you would see that though. Nah, I don't know about that. This is just a baby him. Look how cool that looks. It's like a trench coat dress. I love that. 
I really like this version a lot. I can't say I'd do the high-low hem on all of them, especially depending on what the underside of the fabric looks like, but this from the hip up looks great. Okay, now we've got a Laura Ashley tunic-ish. It's got this little placket with trim detail and then these little insets, which they did in a contrast fabric, a little hard to tell, but um, they did it in a contrast fabric and I don't, you know, I don't know. Is this the actual Laura Ashley dress that is, was sold in stores or is sold in stores? I think whenever they do some of the Vogue designer ones, they are like actually off the rack or runway, but I don't know about these McCall's ones. Cute in the back. What do y'all think? She looks good. I just don't know. This reminds me of, um, oh Lord, what is that shirt dress? I know some of y'all are screaming at your screens right now. That has like the, it's a button up shirt dress and it has this same ruffly detail where, the, where there's one panel down the middle and then these things get gathered in to the sides. Oh man. There's some other sleeve variations. You got this, you know, exaggerated bubble sleeve. Bell sleeve. That one's really cute with this little flounce or, I don't know, hem band. I like that one. Here it is as a maxi, I guess. Cute. Here's the line drawings. Scroll through those, although you could see them pretty, pretty well. They did it. They did a good job playing this up, which makes me wonder if this is an actual Laura Ashley dress. Cute. It's very fall. Um, all right, now we've got another dress. Ooh. So maybe they're trying to repeat success that they had with that other deep plunge V with the bell sleeve that they had last year, the maxi dress that everyone loved. The skirt looks cute. I wonder, we'll have to look at the line drawings closer. Very deep V. But I think that that plays well with the sleeve, you know, how voluminous the sleeve is. It's like, not that trashy, <laughs> not that, I mean, it is sexy, but it's not too much because you have this sleeve to balance it. I think that there's panels here. Princess seams, maybe? Cute. She looks cute there. Oh, is this still a thing? Okay. All right, so yeah, we've got a center skirt and then side pieces too. Scoop neckline, which I didn't really notice, and the gathered bust. Oh, well that's like a completely different dress, isn't it? Huh. Well, I guess why not leave the sleeves off? Lengthen the skirt and then took one of the um, skirt seams and just made it into a slit. Super easy pack for any maxi that you have with these panels. Um, yeah, that's cute. Gingham. All right, so we have got a, like, they did this a bunch in the spring with, like, the mock collar. Like, it looks like a shirt collar, but it's down around your shoulders instead of up around your neck. Um, and then added some straps, which is cute. It looks like it's buttoned down. Yeah, with a waist seam. And then they did that little inset again. Which I gotta say, I think that that's pretty flattering. Because it gives a lot of extra fabric here for your hip. 
um, without like it almost tricks the eye because the fabric is there but not here so I don't know what I'm saying I just think it looks good on her I guess is my point it could you could argue it's not that flattering for people with big hips because it does create extra volume right here like it's smooth through here and then jets out from there so you could make an argument that it's actually not that flattering for people with hips I think it's called a drop waist maybe yeah oh no this is mermaid that's mermaid so oh and there it is without it that's much cuter to me since it seems What's the back look like? Oh, pretty basic. Not even a single dart. Um, and then there's the mermaid skirt and then the simple paneled skirt. Yeah, it's cute. It, I could see myself making it up. Mostly this one. Um, I just have to find a, you know, a good fabric for it. Because it's not, I mean, that could be any season, right? You could make that for spring, summer, um, it's kind of like a seasonless dress. But if you are like boy shaped, mermaid is for you. Tricks everyone into thinking you have the curves that you don't really have. Okay, now we've got a ruched front top and dress. They are making this a thing again. I thought that was like five years ago. Um... Hard to tell with this print. Let's get some close-ups. So it's like this little ribbon gets fed through this funnel and back out again, and then you tie it. And then it's got a little waist seam here. I think it's got raglan sleeves. Yeah, raglan sleeves. Oh, they made it into a crop top. Um, are we going to get to see any of that? Okay, that's cute. I think that's very flattering how it's kind of like, this is her natural waist, but it comes up to like the Empire high waist here. So the skirt just floats away from the body from your teeny tiniest point. Cute. Okay, here's the top. Here's the crop top. Oh, here's a little uh, peplum. That's cute. And then the dress that we've already seen. Nice. Is this knits, I wonder? It has to be, right? Yeah. I'm betting this is knits. So yeah, no seams or anything. When it's a knit, you just, you don't need any of that because the knit does all the work for you. That one's really cute and different too. I like that. Okay, the archive collection. So this is, oops, this is one of our vintage looks. Oh, very like fasten your seatbelt. Airplane stewardess is what I'm going for with that. Um, okay, so she's got a split neck or a notched neck, a little baby collar, bust starts here, a little belt, elbow length sleeve, and does that a seam? Yeah. Center front seam skirt, very A-line. The back actually has a lot going on. Look at that. Look at that. Well, guys, I don't know. What do y'all think? This is like a coat dress, a dress that looks like a coat. Longer sleeves. I think I like it. <laughs> I think I like it. Um, I don't really know why because I hate those fabrics, but I'm trying to picture it in a brocade or, you know, something else. But I think the back is really cool. I think the back is super cool. Where would I wear this? To catch a train? I don't know. 
It's it's definitely a special occasion look. And I'm okay with that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What is happening here? Velvet? <laughs> a ruffle? A sleeve band? Notched neck? Is that a collar too? Here's the back. See, this is what happens when you don't have any shaping going on in the back. It's pulling everywhere and you're getting these um, ruffles in the fabric. If they had just added one, two fisheye darts here, all of this would go away and this would float away from the body. Are y'all ever gonna get sick of me complaining about darts and shaping on shift dresses? Wow, look at that bust dart is, this I think just doesn't fit her very well. This needs to be like way down here, like an inch lower. And you know, I think velour just does not photograph well. Oh man. So you're gonna really have to try and use your imagination. This is awesome. But try and use your imagination to see this dress in a different fabric. I think velour was not it. Um, but I think it could be really cool in some other kind of woven um, that's pretty stable. You know, I wouldn't make this in a rayon or anything like that. Um, That one's cute. This one would work in like a lighter weight woven. What's our back look like? Yep, just basic. They did do a little bit of shaping on the sides here, but not enough to really matter. Yeah, I don't know. This one could be a hard sell with this as the example garment. What was up with the, what is up with this, her neckline? She doesn't, oh, it's this one. It's just the notched neck. Okay. Next up, we have got, let's see if they did any better with the velour. Oh, this is actually a burnout um, where it's like partly sheer. Very cropped, very, very cropped. Huge bell sleeve. Some kind of yoke. She is so pretty. Look how pretty she is there. That's cute. That's super cute. If you have like a casual holiday party or something. Yes, feeling that. Okay, more of the same. Ooh, lots of ruffles. Oops. There it is with out any ruffles on the bodice and then this kind of sleeve. And then just the ruffle sleeve. That is a really big ruffle. Oh, and then a dress with a little lace inset. Super cute. I love a baby doll dress where it's like kind of voluminous everywhere. Um, no bust darts, no shaping going on. But you do have this waist seam to give you some definition. Cute. Of course, I like the dress. I'm kind of okay with this top. I don't know if it'd be too many ruffles. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever said that there could be such a thing as too many ruffles. Okay, Kalia Ali, designer, made a jacket that looks a lot like a kimono. Kimonos are really in. I know that they are. I just, eek, I don't know. This one is a lot more tailored than they usually are. So I'm, you know, kind of liking it a little bit more than usual. Um, but maybe because people are always making them out of these like Asian type fabrics. And so it seems so literal to me, like maybe if this fabric were a different kind of floral that weren't, or maybe it looks like an Asian print because it's made into a kimono. Oh, I don't know. Like that's cute when it's open like that, like an open cardigan. 
Um, oh, what is this? Bubble sleeve and some kind of something's going on here. Hard to tell. A belt? But see how it doesn't look like a kimono out of this fabric? Weird. Oh, and is that her and the same thing? Oh, they've made it a top. Like, she doesn't have anything on underneath. We'll get to the line drawings here shortly. Because these are just all pretty pictures. Oh. There's this one with just a little tie here. That's giving me, like, bathrobe vibes. And then another version of that. Okay. So, all right, so we've got that little, like, I don't know, wrap tie one and some different sleeve variations. And then we've got, yeah, so this one here must be this. I think that's cute, personally. And then you've got the longer one, which was the girl at the very beginning. Oops. So many pictures. That is this one. Did they make this one? There were so many of these. Is that what that is? Nope, that's this bottom one still. I don't know, this one could be cool as an actual jacket, you know, not as a top. All right, where are we? Way down here. Okay, now we're getting into their little athleisure, top, dress, pants, and dog coat. What is that? Joggers are really cute. I like the ribbon tie. Or I guess, yeah, is that grosgrain? Or is it um, twill tape? I don't know, hard to tell. It is a pullover, though. A hoodie without a zip. Um, like a hooded sweatshirt. Cute. Yeah, these fit her really well. Oh my gosh. Dying. Oh my gosh, look at that. I mean, that dog is so cute. Oh my gosh, they look adorable. And then there's the dress, that's cute. Pink, obviously. That looks like a double knit. Adorable. Okay, lots of pictures of her. Okay, so same, it looks to be the same bodice pieces just extended for the hoodie and the dress. So I would probably, you guessed it, add some fisheye darts here to help with some shaping um, because my hip size is so much bigger than my upper bodice. So usually through here and ends up being really baggy. So I have to um, add some shaping there, but that shouldn't be too hard. The dog coat is killing me. That is really sweet. And these joggers actually do fit really well. Very flattering, very stylish, very modern take on sweatpants. So kudos there. This is a romper, jumpsuit, and belt. And I hate it. First of all, I don't love one shoulder. Second of all, that would never fit me. Never in a million years. I do get where they were going with it, though, with, like, the suiting fabric and making a romper for fall. Like, okay, I appreciate that. But, oh, I don't know. It would just be so much work to get these shorts to fit. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, asymmetrical. Not feeling it. And are these like pickup sleeves? Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah, love that, obviously. But I don't like one shoulder. I want the other side. Give me a full pattern. Ugh. Yeah, maybe it's the fabric and the one shoulder. I wouldn't get it for the one shoulder, but I'm not going to talk you guys out of getting it um, because of that. Because I do think it has some redeeming qualities. Um, the shorts would take some work um, unless you have a figure like this. Kudos to you if you do. But this exaggerated culotte or exaggerated palazzo pant, I just made a jumpsuit with um, pants like that. And they're very, very flattering. I just think white satin probably, eh, not feeling the white satin, but this floral and this one here are cute. Okay, now we've got a top. Okay, seems pretty basic, but that's okay. Basic's okay. I'm feeling a little, oh. These pull around. Okay, that's making it a little bit more interesting. Why did they use so many shiny fabrics this season? All right, this is cool. I could get behind this. Oh, and there it is, is a dress. I want to see it in a dress on a person. Um, okay, so we've got this uh, dolman sleeve. Um, and then the dolman sleeve with the like ruffle on the bottom. Which I think the sleeve is just too big. I don't know. Something about this, I'm not, I'm not digging that. Um, but then you've got... This shorter one, which is cute. What is this? Is this a tops and dresses? I'm having a hard time understanding how these are all. If this, is, if this is attached, I don't know. It's hard. Certainly, that's not the hem. You don't sew those two things together with that squiggly. I think this two layers. I think this skirt attaches up here, and this is like an overlay. I think that would be a guess. Um, I bet we could find out full product details. Let's see what they say about it. Nope, they say nothing about it. Okay, so not super helpful. Okay, now we've got a top. Cute. <gasps> super cute. I love, I think my new thing is like traditional with a twist. T W T. So we have got a button up or button down, but not all the way. V neck, little mini collar. Awesome detailing here in the back with the shaping. Perfect. Look at how cinched and snatched she looks. We got a bust start here. Then you've got this cool sleeve. Oh my gosh. And they paired it with a little fanny pack tucked in. So cute. She looks like a million bucks. You can tell she's feeling it too. When she was in that satin dress, she's like, or jumpsuit, she was like, I don't know about this. But now she's like, oh yeah, I look cute. I love this outfit. <laughs> oh. So there's the basic, like, base pattern, right? That's your traditional, traditional button down. I do like a button down. For so long, everybody was buttoning, buttoning these all the way to the tip top, very hipster look. But I do like this. I think it's much more feminine take on like what was deviated from a men's shirt, you know? Ooh, and then the flounce. Guys, this might be my favorite. I'm definitely feeling this. 7811. Super cute. Okay. Quick view. Um, oh, okay, okay. Dolman sleeve, 
pleating detail, center front seam, and then like a fitted peplum. Is this knit? Let's go to the full product detail, shall we? This is a loose fitting, partially lined top. Blah, 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 maybe in the yardage. No, woven. Interesting. Cute. Freaking cute. Super duper cute. Oh. That could be really, really cute over leggings or skinny jeans. Mm, feeling that. And I'm sure, guys, you could definitely just fill this in when you're cutting out your pattern and make a dress. Um, yeah, there's the girl we saw in the beginning. There she is again. Interesting. They did get this to fit her really well for it being woven. Cute. I love that one. Oh, okay. Fun pants. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, so they're really jeans, but they've added this flounce to them. Okay. Oh, wow. Um. Hmm. It's like I 60% hate it, but 40% like it. You know, like if I saw somebody wearing those on the street, I'd be like, oh, she's so cool. But when I think about myself wearing them, I'm like, no. <gasps> what? Look how cute that is. But you could do that to any pattern. You don't need this pattern to do that. I guess they tell you where to place them, but it shouldn't be that hard to figure out. Okay. Then there's that, which I think kind of looks silly. Oh, I knew they were going to do the bells. Okay. So, the, oh my gosh, what is happening? Okay, that is adorable. That is really cute, and I would definitely, absolutely, 110% wear that. But I don't need a pants pattern to tell me to install six grommets and tie a ribbon through them. And the rest of the views, I am just, like, kind of afraid. Oh, man. Do you guys like this one? Reference 7814 in your comment. So I know that you're talking about the jeans. I mean, they are traditional jeans in every way, five pockets and everything with a back yoke and, um, belt loops and, you know, a zip up, zip fly, all of that. But these hems, oh man, I appreciate them going out there on a limb and saying, how can we like find a new way to make jeans cool and really stretching the limits in terms of like creativity. But I don't know. This? I don't know. I hope people out there in the world make these with these random things and prove me wrong. But I just don't know if that's... Oh, I really hope that. I feel like I might be getting old because sometimes the fashion is like, way too out there for me. If the, all the kids start wearing this, all the young, like early 20s, late teens girls start wearing stuff like this and bell bottoms again and they start looking good in them, oh, I'm in trouble. Okay. One shoulder tunic with a belt. Can we just skim through this one quickly? Because it does fit her well. I'll give them that. But I'm not doing a one shoulder with a long sleeve shirt with a belt. Even that one. Okay, that's cute. How much longer am I going to have to look at asymmetrical? You can obviously fold this down. The um, center front marking that will be on the pattern piece and make it, you know, symmetrical. But that's just like 
The rest of it's not cute enough to go through all that trouble, I guess. Okay, here we've got a top with two sleeves. Yay! Um, okay, so it looks like... Oh, I need to zoom in. How do I zoom in? I guess I have to go to full product. I need to see something. Here we go. Is that a raw hem? I think so. What do y'all think of that? Just not finishing the flounce certainly would be easier, right? Okay, so I think it goes like this, swoops down and you've got that little thing. I feel like we just looked at a pattern like this together, right? Yeah, they left all of the hem except for the bottom one raw on this chambray that they found or that they used. Okay. Yep, there it is. I don't hate it, but it is kind of just a boxy top, you know? This drop shoulder, you know, is kind of cool way to think of a boxy top and shirting out of shirting fabric. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm on kind of on the fence. This could be really cool. I do think that that would look really neat in some fabrics. Um, I'm on the fence. Definitely on the fence. Okay, now we've got a really cute wrap skirt. Wrap skirt, right? Oh, it's like paper bag waist. Very flattering. That's cool. Cute, right? I kind of like these. I think I kind of like these. I like the length of them too. I might need to do mine a little bit shorter so it hits just below the knee just because for me, this mid calf is not super, like I don't have very long legs. I'm more of a torso, more all in the torso. So I would just need to be careful of the length, but I think if it hit just below the knee, it could be really cute. Definitely fun and different. Um, fabric wise, let's see, what did they recommend? Wool blends, cotton blends, crepes, or stable knit. Yeah, you got to get something that's going to hold this up well. Um, but I love it with the turtleneck. I think she looks really cool. Cute, very wearable for everyone, even though it has all these like funky little details, it's not like completely distracting. Okay, now isn't she cute? Um, a whole bunch of little girl stuff, accessories, toys, and cosplay. So that is going to bring us to the end of our McCall's Early Fall um, First Impression Review. Um, in general, there are definitely some things that I will be getting. Um... I think fabric application is critical here and that they may not have done the best job on their end highlighting the patterns in the right fabrics, but if you can kind of look beyond that, um, you could find some really great patterns in here. Some ones that they did right are this and this, definitely perfect. Um, and then there's, surprise they called this section true blue. It should be called... I <laughs> wackadoodle crazy but could be cute patterns. <laughs> um yeah, these are cool. Very cool. Oh, and yeah, I really did like that one a lot too. So let me know. Oh my goodness. Let me know what you guys thought of the new patterns in the McCall early fall collection. And until next time, I will see you guys very 
soon. Bye!